Physics of Collisions. Chuck, guess what? What? I got another explainer. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say chicken butt. No. <laughs> Chicken butt. So I want to talk about collisions. If you have an elastic collision, mm -hmm. the energy coming in mm -hmm. isn't dissipated at all. It just goes back to the object and then it bounces off. Okay. Like a ball. Like a ball. Right. And as is true for any bounce, if you just hold the ball at a certain height, let it go, it will drop and come up to some percent of that height. Right. Right. The more elastic the collision is, the higher up it'll come relative to where you dropped it. For every bounce, it gets lower and lower and lower and lower and lower until it doesn't bounce anymore. Okay. All right. So these are all elastic collisions. Yeah. And an elastic collision is two cars in a head-on collision. Both of them crumple up. Right. And then there they are. That's an inelastic collision. So when a comet hits, asteroids and comets, I, we might have talked about this in another episode. It has to do with a high-speed collision. The kinetic energy of the meteor is so high that it's higher than the molecular bonds in the object itself. It hits, where does the energy go? It goes back into it, just as it did with this. Here it just raised the temperature a little bit, mm -hmm. but not so much that it melted the object. Ooh, a meteor coming in, an asteroid, oh my gosh. It's coming in at 40,000 miles an hour, when it goes from that speed to zero, just the way this did, that goes, it instantly gets pumped back into the object and it cannot hold itself together. And there's a word for that. So it's right. an explosion. It's an explosion. That's how you get, that's an explosion.